Hey guys, so today I thought I would do a post on um, frequently asked questions. Uh, I had a lot of them, so I just thought I would do a post with everybody's questions. So I'm going to start out with the first one, and the first one is, how often do you have to wear your aligners per day? Uh, so here's the way Dr. Hong explained it to me. He kind of gave me a grading scale, and he said that 22 hours a day is an A, 20 hours is a B, um, 18 hours is a C, 16 hours is a D, and anything below 16 hours is failing. So you really um, aren't getting the most out of it if you're not wearing it for, if you're wearing it for less than 16 hours. Um, you really want to strive between um, 20 and 22, um, just because you're going to see the most results if you wear them the most. Um, but you really kind of, the only time you're really allowed to take them out is when you are eating. Otherwise, you should really have them on. Um, when you are eating, if you're going out, just be mindful of the time because I know often I, times I lose track if you're at a big dinner or you're, birth, you're out for a birthday dinner or somebody's, you know, sometimes a meal could go on for two, three hours. Um, so that's something that you want to kind of keep in mind. Okay. Um, how long will the treatment take? So that depends on your teeth. Um, for me, you know, anywhere between, I would say, nine months probably. Um, to a year. It, it all depends on uh, your, it, well, it depends on the doctor and how he's going to assess you because, t you know, once you start getting into after, you know, um, it's been 10 weeks and 10 weeks, so it's been about 20 weeks. So once you get into the six month mark, you know, you'll start making more adjustments, you'll kind of start seeing it, and, you know, it'll, it'll really just depend on your own case. But I would say you at least should give yourself a good nine months, if not more, because. Um, you want to continue the entire treatment and finish it out to really properly align your teeth. Okay, um, so oftentimes when I remove my aligners, uh, my teeth feel a little loose. Is that is that normal? And yes. So the reason for that is that um, the aligners are kind of gradually shifting your teeth, however which way. So you are going to see some spacing, you are going to see a little bit of, you know, they, they might feel a little loose, and that's actually very normal. Um, I know that I'm starting to see it now after the six month mark, especially where I'm starting to see uh, a little bit of, you know, in my teeth. Like I can see the spacing, I can kind of see where the teeth are going. So it's definitely, um, that is definitely uh, normal. Okay, um, how does it affect your life? So to be quite honest, it's going to depend on two things. Um, one thing is, I'll split it into this. So the first thing is your food habits. Are you a meal person or are you a snacker? If you just eat meals, like three or four big meals a day, then I think that you're actually gonna, you're, you'll be fine. Because you're just supposed to take them out when you eat and put them back in. Um, if you snack, like me, I'm a huge snacker, that is when you will start to see how much you really snack and you're probably not going to be able to snack as much um, obviously that's not a bad thing but uh, I live obviously um, in New York City and there's always food on the street all the time and I'm always you know there's always some cookie or some food truck or something that I'm going to want to try so I'm much more aware and conscious and so now each time I want to eat something I have to like take my aligners out and you know I mean if I really want to eat something I'll just you know take my container out for my purse um, and I'll just uh, take my liners out in the middle of the street I really don't care um, you know sometimes they yeah, but uh, that's just me but yeah if you snack that is going to be a huge thing that uh, you're going to find that snacking is going to be a little bit more difficult um, to your social um, the other part of your life which is social so a lot of people um, if they'll go like on an interview or they want to go out on a date or something they don't want to wear these liners and to be quite honest I've worn um, I was on an interview yesterday and I wore my liners and I, nobody ever, just, you know, no, I don't really notice it. Um, I could still talk just fine. I'm wearing them right now. Um, you know, they really don't affect me. Um, in that sense, like, I don't see the need to take them out. Um, I, 
like I said, a lot of people don't. For me personally, my social life, my uh, everything, I just haven't had any kind of issues. None of my friends have noticed it. You know, when you take pictures, I don't really show all my teeth anyway, so I haven't had that either. Um, it isn't actually until I've taken my liners out in a social setting to eat that somebody's like, one of my friends was like, oh, do you, I didn't know you had an Invisalign. So people really can't even notice. They're very, very, like, that's the whole point. It really is invisible. Um, and I found that it's very easy to um, adapt. Um, like I said, for me, the biggest thing was um, uh, snacking. So that is that. And um, can you eat anything or are you restricted? Um, no, you can eat just about anything. Just take your liners out when you eat. Um, and that's it. So I haven't had any restrictions on that. I mean, unless your own diet restricts you from eating something, but the Invisalign does not restrict you from eating anything. Okay. So, um, here it is. How does smoking, um, what does, how does smoking affect the aligners? Smoking will stain your aligners. So if you do smoke, you probably should take your aligners out. Um, I don't know. I mean, obviously I don't smoke so, but I do know that that's kind of what the doctor told me. If you smoke, you want to take your aligners out. Okay, how about drinking? So the rule of thumb was, Dr. Hung told me that when you um, consume any kind of drink, if it's a hot beverage, you want to take your liners out. If it's a cold beverage, you can drink it. Um, if it's a sugary type of beverage, um, you just want to make sure that when you do drink that beverage, that at some point you take your liners out and you rinse your mouth or kind of brush your teeth because, you know, the sugar is going to build up, so you don't want to have that. So that's going to be the same thing with alcohol, you know, it's kind of considered that. Um, you know, I would play it out just like that. So that is that. And finally, can I chew gum? Okay, you're not supposed to chew gum with your liners, but I do. Um, <laughs> so I have found that it really doesn't stick to my liners. I mean, I don't chew like a bubble gum, bubblelicious or anything like that. I pretty much, you know, like Orbit White or something, I'll chew. So um, it doesn't really get stuck, but you really shouldn't do it. Um, so it's one of those things where on the long, on the big, you know, on the um, on the big scale and on the whole, it's I don't see how chewing gum is really going to be that horrible. Um, you know, it's just going to be irritating if it does get stuck. I mean, and I can see why it would get stuck, but for me, it really hasn't gotten. You know, uh, I haven't had really any issues. So that is that. Um, so stay tuned for the next set of questions. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.